What's up everyone, it is me Sivo. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do an inventory system and a hunt. Uh, there is also going to be dig and fish, but if you enjoy this video then I will show you how to do the dig and fish. Or you can try and do it yourself from what you've learned how to do with the hunt. So first we're just going to head over to our event uh, event uh, page and we're going to make um, two tables. So first up we're going to create a, um, well, a animals table because we're going to be hunting animals. We do this by just doing cursor.execute and then uh, these things, quotations, then we're going to do create table. I'm just going to copy this and then uh, we're just going to do um, animals. And then once you have done this, you're just going to do brackets like this, click enter. Instead of doing like the integers and, and all that, but this is just a lot quicker to do this. So we're going to just do quotations and use underscore ID and that's literally all you have to do. And then we're just going to put in a few animals like fox, uh, wolf, uh, cat. And obviously you need something to hunt the animals with. So we're going to create a table for the tools. We're going to do cursor.execute. And then we're going to do quotations again. And then we're just going to quickly do... Um, create table if not exist and then we're going to do tools we're going to have um user id again user id and then we're going to have a uh, pistol so we, i would do rifle but we haven't got a rifle emoji all right pistol and then rod we're going to get a fishing rod and then we're going to get a pickaxe so we we'll just do now we need to insert the data this is pretty um simple to do uh how we do this is we do cursor.execute and then we're just going to um, select user underscore ID from uh, tools where user underscore ID equals author dot ID. Then we're just going to do result. It doesn't matter if we do a result equals um, cursor dot fetch one. And then once you have done this, we are going to do if result. So if result is none, if the user ID isn't in there, then it's going to create your user ID with the values. So user result is none. And then we're going to do cursor.execute. And then we're going to do insert uh, into tools, the name of the database. And then we're going to insert the user underscore ID. We can actually just copy and paste these and just get rid of the quotations, which would be a bit easier. Okay, now once we have done that, we're just going to do values and then we're going to make the values. Uh, I need to put this inside this one second. Here we go. I just had my brackets wrong. Just make sure your brackets are like this. And then we're just going to do values and then we're going to do four question marks. So one, two, three, four. We're just going to do and now we're going to put in the the amount. So we're going to do all for the ID. We're going to have one for each one. So we're going to have you're going to start with one rifle one rod, one pig, uh, pig, one pig. And every time you use them, you lose one when you do the, the hunt. So we do one, one, one. Now we've got to also create this for the, for the thingy. So we're just going to copy this real quick for the animals. And we're just going to, um, we're just going to change this to uh, animals. And then we're going to say, well, is none. Custom exit insert into tools. Um, just put, a. Uh, quotations like that and we're going to insert into animals this one's going to be this one's going to be quite long so i'm going to quickly be back okay so you do cursor uh execute into animals and you're going to do um put all the names down and then you're going to do values it is one two three four five six seven eight nine oh crap nine ten eleven i think that's eleven it is eleven question marks and that would be all for ID and 10 zeros. Oh my God, I can't, uh, 10, oh my God. 11 question marks and 10 zeros and all for dot ID. So make sure you go like this. Okay, to do the inventory, this will be uh, quite lengthy, not really, but um, do at client dot command async def. And then we're just gonna do, this is do IV for sure. And then we're gonna put CTX in it. I am going to put two lists down you can copy. I will leave these down in the description so you don't have to type all the emojis in there. It's just long. So, yeah. Got animal list and tool list. Uh, um, then we're just going to do this to connect to the database. So, db equals all that. And we're just going to put that in. 
And now once we have done that, we can actually get start to get in all the values. So first we need to get our um, tools. So we do this by doing an R and also cursor dot execute. Um, select everything from animals where uh, user underscore ID is equal to ctx author dot id is that's not a spell author is it author dot id and then we're just going to do curse um not cursor a lot of animals uh, animals equals cursor dot fetch uh one now we can just quickly copy this to save us type and we're just going to go select from tools and then we're going to do tools here it was that here comes a compl complicated part. We're going to be doing list uh, compressions and we're going to use uh, iter tools.zip longest. So basically, we do animals underscore equals and we're going to do a, an, a list and then do f string and then put i in it. And then you're going to do x, which is the amount. So x is i is going to be the name and x is going to be the amount. So which is going to be uh, j. And then we're going to do four. Oh, four I and J in iter tools. So iter tools. If you haven't got it popping up here, make sure you import it up here. So it's called iter tools. Iter tools. That's what it's freaking called. And then you're going to do dot zip longest. And then we're going to do animal list, which gets the, the names each one. And then uh, do animals. And then now we're going to put, um, now we're going to uh, print the ones we want. If they're, if they're over zero, it's going to print how many there is. If it's under zero, then it's going to do a different message, which we will do after. We're going to do if J is greater than zero, which is the item. And then, and, uh, J, um, is less than, we're going to have to do the ctx.author. So. Basically, the ID is about this long, about that long. So just do that, and you no one will have that many rifles. Trust me. If someone do, then they're hacking. Okay, guys, so I accidentally just paused my recording, so you kind of missed me type a bunch of stuff. But um, this is basically what you have to copy. So tools, basically the same as the animals here. Just make sure everything's replaced with tools and your tools list here. So tools list goes here. This is the name of all the tools. And then you put the tools in here, which is the execute. And then for this, you're going to do animals underscore equals new line. And then we're going to join the animals. So the list. And then if the length of the animals list is greater than not the animals list. I mean, oh, what was that about the list? I mean, this. If the length is um less than zero, then it's going to say else no animals in inventory. And then you do the same with tools, just copy and paste, just put all the tools in. And then we're going to create an embed. And we just did that by doing title, description, and then added a color. And then in the add field, this is where you add each section. So we added animals and then we added our tools and it displays our tools. So we have one of everything. So it's going to display one of everything. And on the animals, it's going to say no animals in inventory. We'll show this once we have set up a hunting system. Now let's go for the hunting system. I set this up in a um, cog. So the class here is called item, by the way, and this is our set them up. And um, if you go up to the top, you can do client.icog and do items. I did by doing this by from the name of the file and then importing the class name. And then you can just add the cog here with the client. Now, anyways, let's go on. So I did, I, I just copied and pasted most of the stuff from the inventory. So I've got the animals, it grabs everything with the animals. I did select pistol. So make sure you select the pistol, not everything, the pistol from tools. And then uh, just do pistol equals cursor.fetch1. And then obviously connect to database. And you're also going to have to do this. It's important to amount equals random.randrange. Hunt equals random.choice. And then we're going to do random.choice from the animal list. So it's going to pick a random one. And that's the animal we're going to, you know, add on to our inventory. And this will be the amount of now the thing is um with an update function with sql like for some reason you can't use f strings in it i could have done this in a for loop and it would have been so easy but um i can't for some reason and i don't know why but if you do know how then please tell me because it would make this a lot more quicker but yeah so um if we do if rifle not rifle if pistol then we're gonna have to do zero 
inside it, and then we're going to do if hunt is equal to animal list one. So that would be this one here. Then we're going to do cursor dot execute. We're going to do update animals. And we're going to have to go through every animal. That's what I mean why it's a bit annoying. I would change this. I would change this to literally the an animal list, but all lowercase. And it would just get an animal list, whatever, whatever the hunt lands on. So, yeah, but for some reason you can't do that. So we'll just do fox, um, question mark, where user ID underscore uh, ID equals question mark. And then we're going to do, um, a little uh, comma, and then we're going to do brackets animals. And we're going to do one. So this is the first answer. This is the fox in the database. You can check it if you have a um, DB database. And then we're just going to plus the amount. So the amount it lands on and we've got the list already. So um, now if we uh, just put the ctx.author in, so ctx.author.id and uh, that is it. That's literally it. It'd be so much easier. I'll be able to do it in this many lines if the freaking full state. Oh my God, it still annoys me to this day because I can't figure out why. But um, if we just do this and now we just copy this, um, how many times is it? I think it's 10 times. So we'll just copy this for now. We'll do two, three, four, five. And then we'll just copy uh, up to here. And then just do that. And that's how many we need. So yeah, now if we just do six. We'll just change all these data. I'll be back once I've changed everything. Make sure you make the one zero, by the way. So if it lands on none, that means you've got nothing. So make sure you do that. And then zero, and that should be that should be it for now. Uh, let's just move that back, and then we're also gonna have to do the same for the other side. So make sure you change these. And now we're gonna have to change the names. Yes, I know it's tiring, so we're just gonna have to do wolf, uh, and I'll speed this up. Make sure you got names exactly, otherwise it won't work. Okay, uh, and then the last one's you, and then this one is just gonna be just delete this real quick. Um. Well, actually, no, we, we can keep this. We're going to do update tools. Uh, update tools. Set um, pistol. Where user ID equals. And we're actually going to do rifle or pistol. Uh, zero. And then we're going to take away one. Because we have used the, the rifle. So we'll do take away one just like that. And then we're just going to await your message and say await ctx. Dot send. You have, um, you have got, you have gotten, uh, nothing better luck next time, kid, next time, kid. And we're also going to return this because if we don't return it, it will go on to the next bit. And now we're going to make an else statement. So else, well, actually, no, we're not going to do an else statement because if we get this, it's going to return this, isn't it? And we won't be able to get another message next. So we're going to have to copy this and do that. The reason why we're doing it again is because if we just leave that there, we won't get this message. And if we put a message there, it's got, and we want a hunt sync as well. It's going to say that message as well. So we have to do this. Otherwise, this won't get executed either way. And then we could just do a wait ctx.send. You have hunted. And we can just do x. And then we could do amount. And then we can get the hunt. So the name. So the hunt. And then we can also do an else. if. So basically, if you ain't got a rifle from if pistol. If you don't have a pistol, then um, it's going to say await oh, ctx.send. And then it's going to say you need a pistol. Okay, now that is literally all you have to do and we are done. So now let's play the bot and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works. Okay, the bot runs all good. So let's, um, that was me practicing it here. All right, so now let's uh, test it. So if we do inventory. It's going to say inventory was not found. Oh, yeah, that's because um, it's that. All right, now it's going to say what has happened. Okay, guys, it's because I made these numbers too big. Make sure it ain't bigger than the actual ID itself. Otherwise, it won't even work. So, um, yeah, make sure you do that. Uh, now, if we do INV, 
we do that it's going to say animals none and it's going to show you tools you can use in incline so this does go below it oh i'm not going to use it in line i mean but um now if we do a uh, hunt it's gonna and i'm an idiot as well <laughs> see this is what happens when you do so much code all at once without testing thing i've got to put equal sign on every little bit nice okay guys i've i've realized i made two mistakes so we've got to be if pistol is greater than zero so if you have more than one pistol and as well we've got to commit it and close the database and close the cursor otherwise it won't actually you know update the freaking thing so yeah i would have probably put subtitles up to tell you this anyway but yeah so now if we run the bot if we do inventory it's gonna say oh we need to let the data come in because i deleted the database the inventory is gonna say rifle rod pick and the one it was into inventory if we do hunt you have hunted one wolf now if we do hunt again you need a pistol so now if we do inventory it's gonna say you got one wolf and you got one rod and one pig and no rifle because it is now gone hope you guys enjoy drop a like and subscribe and bye